Hello, friends! Welcome back, and thank you for joining us here today for episode 16 of A Detoured Path, where we fully and firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute. My name is Chelsea Marie Maje, and I'll be your host here today and every day on A Detoured Path. So to all our new and returning listeners out there, if you're finding yourself in need of a little reroute, are already meandering down that unforeseen pathway in life, whether by choice, force, or somewhere in between, or just interested in possibly thinking about things a little bit differently, this could be the show for you. We will be sharing personal accounts, stories, and a variety of perspectives in order to help us all gain a greater sense of community and connectivity in this little thing we call life. Just a little disclaimer before we begin, Though we do try to keep a mostly G and or PG rating here at A Detoured Path, we are discussing life, and life is not always G and or PG rated. That's just something to keep in mind in case you are listening with any little itty bitty tater tots present. Chelsea, tell me a story. Just going through the motions, just trying to get to fine, avoiding the distractions like good cocaine and wine, telling self that everything soon will be just fine, while universal pieces swarm to get in line. Just going through the motions, looking for okay, wading through the daily muck, the trash, and the decay, wondering when all the work soon will turn to play, while everything that turns around seems to be delayed. Just going through the motions. Pain, will you desist? You're causing murky waters and make me want to quit. I'm not seeing clearly you tried to fade the light. I guess that's when I have to trust that fear won't always bite. But overwhelm is a feeling that is often a... She gnaws at and scrapes at and makes your eye twitch. The stacks of to-dos just pile on more, stacked on so high from ceiling to floor. You wonder and question where to begin. Feels like no path and you'll never see end. Shut in a cave. That's where you wish you could go when there is silence and peace and you can always say no. Burned out and tired and sick of this, Mm -hmm. heaven already knows you wish you could quit. What do you do when you feel stuck with no light? One foot and then the other until you've run out of night. What? Excuse me? Excuse me, what? Until you've run out the night? What do you mean, until you've run out the night? What I just said, until you've run out the night. The night will end. It will all end. It will all eventually end. Night will turn to day. Dark will turn to light. The moon will go away and the sun will rise again. That is how it is. That is how it has been. And that is how it will be. It is forever a constant. Unless suddenly the universe is just going to decide on its own, just not to exist anymore, we can pretty much count on the light turning into dark, turning into light again. No matter what we are experiencing right now, whether it be good or bad, this too shall pass. This just means that when we are completely in the good, We can be grateful for the moments in the moment. When everything seems to be going our way, synchronicities are happening everywhere, and everything is going according to our plan and the way we think it should be, we can appreciate the moments in the moment. We can do this because we know that nothing lasts forever. Because nothing lasts forever, It also means we still have to keep on keeping on even when all we are keeping on through is the bad. We do this because we too know that this too shall pass. It may come to you, come through you, even tell you what you're to do. But if we're caught up in the am I, have I, want me, well then you too may be stuck in this life limbo, not knowing what you should do 
all because you seemed to think your life wasn't worth the time it took to move through. What? You're kidding me. You mean I have to give myself time to move through it all? I have to give myself time to move through my own life? Are you serious? I need time to move through it all? I need time to move through everything? It takes time for me to process things? It takes time for me to process everything? It takes time for us to adjust? It takes time for all of the individual pieces, parts, components, and working aspects involved to align, realign, come together, and effectively meld into one cohesive working unit? Are you for real? No, like, for real, for real. You mean I can't go from zero to the absolute fastest speed imaginable all in one go and all on the first try? You mean to tell me I need a transitional period? A transitional phase? A transitional section in this ever-flowing life story in order for everything and everyone involved to catch up to every other thing and every other person involved in the construction and implementation of the next great, fabulous, life-changing, life-altering magnificentness we call the life journey? I can't just do it now? Like, all right now? I can't just do it now and on my own terms. I need one chapter to close in order for the next chapter to begin. I do. Are you sure? I mean, are you really sure? Can't I just do it all on my own now and always and be such a gosh darn incredible, absolutely unmistakably fantastical success in everything and anything I do straight away? Right straight out of the gate? Always and always, forever and ever, amen? I mean, can't I? What do you think? She pauses, in the faintest hope that she might actually receive the unexpected message that she is, in fact, absolutely right. An extended pause. Crickets. Chirping. You mean to tell me it doesn't work like that? (laughs) Are you trying to say I have to be patient? A silent pause, because higher power has a sense of humor, and that is her way of affirming that there is, indeed, a need for patience. Is that correct? The leading player in this story demands. I have to wait my turn? She questions, dumbfounded. Wait my turn? But I don't want to. I don't want to be patient. I don't ever want to be patient. I want to be able to achieve everything and anything that I ever want to achieve. And I want to be able to do it all right now. And then, from out of the depths and fog in this little life play of hers, she hears... For the upteenth time in her life. Patience is a virtual, my little itty-bitty budding precious baby butterfly. Patience is a virtue. If you were to go too fast for far too long, you would surely burn out. We want to make sure you turn into a roaring fire, not just a match that is quick to light, but that is also quick to be blown out. That preparation part? That preparation is key. Preparation is key. We are preparing you for what you are to do next in life, and in order to do that, you must be patient. What is meant for you will come to you, But there's more learning that you'll have to do. A caterpillar does not fly until it has fully transformed into the version of itself that is in fact the butterfly. My friend, there is power in learning how to fly. There is excitement. There is adventure. There is the thrill. There is anticipation. There is the knowing that you are becoming someone new. 
because you have learned how to do it, know that you can then do it again. You can be confident in the fact that it was not a fluke and that you can do this. You are not your circumstances, nor were you ever your circumstances, and they are not you. They do not define you. They will never define you. You are not a victim. Circumstances are like a frame around a picture, but they are not the picture. And because they are not the picture, the frame will never be permanent. Thank you so much for your time and attention thus far. We are just going to take a brief moment to recognize today's sponsor, Anchor, for providing a free platform for people like myself to get their podcast off the ground. With little to no previous technical know-how, Anchor makes the whole process pretty straightforward. Go to anchor.fm, that's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M, or download the free Anchor app today to get started. With just a click of a button, you too can be heard on multiple platforms. To repeat, we are not our circumstances. They do not define us. They are not who we are, and they are not what we are. We are whoever and whomever we say we are, and we get to choose and re-choose that every single day. We do not have to let our circumstances determine our fate. If we want to be a writer, then we say we are a writer. If we want to be a singer, then we say we are a singer. If we want to be an engineer, then we say we are an engineer. We speak it into existence, and then we take the steps necessary in order to get there. It is us calling to our future and saying, Hey you, hey you there, come here. Come here to me now. Come here to me now, please. We are drawing the future we desire closer and closer to ourselves in our present moment all day long. You can say you want one thing. You can say you want to be an engineer until you are blue in the face. But if all you ever do is talk about it and you never take the steps needed to move your dream in a direction towards you, it's like trying to call your friend on the phone but never actually dialing their phone number. You can scream into your phone all day long, but that doesn't mean they're going to answer if you never actually enter the phone number and hit call. It is the same with what you desire from this world. Speaking what you want without action towards it gets you nowhere. It is a phone call without a connection. There is nothing to drive it forward. There is no momentum. We must be the momentum. We must be our own catalyst for change. As cool as it sounds to have everything we ever wanted thrown at us all at once like colors through a prism, the likelihood of us catching it all at once at the same rate that it was thrown at us is probably slim to none. It's like the universe being on one side of the dodgeball line while we are on the other, while a zillion balls are being hurled at us we would most likely be ducking out of the way rather than trying to catch every single one. We must first move towards the ball we hope to catch and then be ready and willing to catch it when it finally is thrown our way. There is a famous saying that describes luck. Luck is what happens when timing meets preparation. In this instance, we can think of luck as something we have cultivated and helped to cause, rather than some magical event that just somehow sort of happens to us. That is a much more tangible way of looking at it, because it means we actually have had a hand in it. It depends much more on us than not on us, and because it depends on us, we are responsible for it. If we are responsible for it, we therefore have more control of it and over it, And if we have more control of it, then we are much more close to everything and anything we ever really wanted than we originally ever even thought possible, because it depends on 
us. Well, great. That sounds absolutely fantastical to me. Now what? We go after it with dogged enthusiasm. We become relentless in our pursuit, but yet we also never lose our zest for the journey. Every person's journey often looks different than the next. Even if we all have the same desired outcome or outcomes, how it all comes to us will most likely be wrapped and unwrapped differently. We all have certain lessons to learn, and how we best learn them is based on a variety of different factors, like learning styles, experiences thus far, a true kinesthetic understanding of the subject matter, other life lessons we have had to learn and unlearn, etc. However, we can find joy in the fact that we are all riding along on our very own little life version of an enchanted unicorn journey, one that is not and will never be exactly just like the rest. They are all special and unique, each in their own individual ways. And on that magical note, I believe that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining us from wherever or whenever you are doing so today. Feel free to comment, message, support, donate, and subscribe on whichever and whatever platform you are joining us from today. We're available and searchable internationally on 21 platforms, but going directly to our host platform, Anchor, is the best way to stay in the know and get connected. Check out some of our other locations, such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, Audible, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, YouTube, just to name a few. Leave a review and a rating if you like what you heard, and hit subscribe to get all the latest podcast updates and information. By choosing to support and donate, your generous contributions will help to continue the workflow, volume, and frequency of a detoured path, so that we can continue to flood your airways on a more regular basis. Let's help bring back a demand for creative artists again. And if you feel like someone you know could really benefit from today's message, feel free to pass it along. In the meantime, if you're looking for more thoughts, stories, and insights while you're waiting for the next episode of A Detour Path to come out, you can find the book Short Girl Diaries, unedited and grammatically incorrect by Chelsea Marie Mauget. Last name is spelled capital M-A-U-G as in great, E-R as in red, which is available on Amazon and both print and Kindle formats, as well as through the Kindle Unlimited program where you can read pages for free. Check out articles and spoken word on medium.com by going to chelsea-marie-marget.medium.com. Come find us on Instagram by following at Chelsea Marie Marget, all one word, C-H-E-L-S-E-A-M-A-R-I-E-M-A-U-G-E-R. Stop by and say hi. Say the podcast sent you. And if you find yourself stimulated to write after listening to an episode of A Detoured Path, you can find quite a slew of journals available for purchase on Amazon from CMM Designs by Chelsea Marie Maje. We're constantly adding new selections, so be on the lookout for new additions to add to your collection. Just type Chelsea Marie Maje into your search engine and a plethora of journal choices will pop up. So, until next time, my name is Chelsea Marie Maje, and you've been listening to A Detoured Path where we fully, firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute.